Hey everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom volcanic island out of kinetic sand. Now this stuff, it's really cool. It's because you can sculpt statues, it never dries out, and also it, 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 it literally stays in its pose. And I'm going to show you how to make a little volcanic island. Do you remember that old video I made a few, like, almost a half a year ago? It was how to make... A volcanic island out of Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. Well, here's a better version of that. It's kinetic sand version. Now, just get a custom volcanic shape. Kind of like this. Oh, Sorry. And then, um, get some small custom lines to give it some little details, like a rugged mountain. And also scrape it so it kind of gives it a very like rough and rocky feel. Make it nice and... Now you can, this is the only color of kinetic sand I have, so um, this is, I, even the lava effect will be green, so I'm sorry. You can use multiple colors but there is your custom volcano shape it looks realistic already and then you take some get some room right here and I'll show you what I'm doing right here later you'll see you'll see it'll be cute it'll be cute okay. no oh, oh. Perfect. Okay, now I'll get that cleaned up. And then, okay, let me think, let me think. Oh yeah, um, take some loose sand, and, well not loose real sand, the kinetic sand stuff. It's because if you have loose sand, uh, and ruin your kinetic sand. Now instead of making it just like that, kind of flatten it just a little so it kind of looks like it's been there like for years and then spread it out a little in this area so it kind of looks like a flow like flow down to the ocean yeah lava does that I used to love volcanoes when I was little I still do to this day so that's, um, that's where I learned that when I was young, I watched so many movies and videos about volcanoes, and it turns out that if lava meets with water, equals land. So then, kind of blow it up right here so it kind of looks like it's been a bad eruption. Then just make a small hole so it's kind of a crater. We're about done. Now all we need to do is just scrape that inside. And after this, we'll have a finished crater. It'll look nice and realistic. Perfect. Okay, it looks perfect. Keep it just like that. Like that. Nice. Now, what was I gonna do next? What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Uh, take a toothpick. You can make a few more of them lines. Make it hardly noticeable so it doesn't look like, you know, scratch, scratch. But actually, around the lava flows, trace it out. And for some reason, that actually makes it look, makes the lava flow look a bit better. Sculpt, 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 sculpt. Okay. Now that is the complete island. And if you want, you can probably spread this out and then take out a little chunk so it kind of looks like a bay. It looks cool like that. Looks nice. Now then, this spot right here, um, if you want, you can take a little castle and... Um, oh, hang on. If you want, you can take your little castle and... Ugh. Sorry, just having a little trouble getting this out. Ugh. Get out! Okay, sorry. This is hard. Ugh. 
Man. Oh, there it goes. Oh! Dark on knife. So yeah, there you could put a little castle there so it looks nice and cute. And that is my complete volcanic island. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please subscribe to the Diamond Tree Films for new videos every week. Bye.